Today, I will be making a video all about witchcraft and witches. Because a friend came to me and he was skeptical of that. He did not think our spells work, which I have many, much to cover on that. Um, he didn't think it was legit, you know. I mean, yeah, I get it. Like, how could that work, right? In, in this, this down to earth kind of sense, but witches are not race. It's not a race. Everyone has the power within them to be a witch. The power comes from with all life and human beings. Uh, which witches are which is not gender based. A man can be a witch and a woman can be a witch. It's the practice, it's the spiritual path of the witch which defines a witch as a witch. Um I thought it was only appropriate. I have my necklaces and crystals and stuff and be out in nature while I'm doing this video. Um but, yeah, um, there's a lot of history behind witches. It's been around for thousands of years. Perhaps even longer. And there's theory that, in speculation, that it may not have even started it on Earth. You know. And there's lots of different types of magic out there. Now, this magic I'm talking about is spell of a K at the end, a C and a K at the end. Why? To distinguish it from stage magic. That's the thing. That's what Crowley did. Alistair Crowley. He was a big occultist in the days. Now, there's many forms of magic, including divination, astral magic, uh, herbal magic, coffee magic, uh, marijuana magic even. You know, and there's even, there's no such thing as light or dark magic, white or black magic. It's all energy. Magic is just energy. The ethereal, prana, chi. It's the life force essence that drives the universe found within all life. Crystals are also life. They grow, right? You know? Um, about which is spells working. Um, for all those you're skeptical and you have tried before. Yes, it failed. Because you were skeptical. Witchcraft is one of those things you got to believe with your full heart. Otherwise, it just will not work. Alright? You have to clear any doubt in order to cast a spell. Witchcraft uses the power of sacred geometry and symbology. There's also Nordic runes and rune binds and sigils and all kind of stuff you can use. And these are all symbols, magical symbols, right? And magic is not something that's like in Harry Potter or like Bewitched. You cannot see it with your bare eye. Scientists have already confirmed there are frequencies, right? The human eye can only see roughly about 300 to 400 frequencies, right? Which there are actually hundreds upon thousands of frequencies just on this earth, let alone the whole universe. And don't lie to yourself. The universe is a pretty damn strange place. It's not normal. No matter how much school teaches you, oh, space is just a void, and planets are just rocks, rocks in space, and stars are just fireballs. No. Everything is consciousness. And consciousness is always continuously moving in and out of itself. Flowing freely between worlds and planes and 
it's fractal and it's infinite and it's abstract and it's geometric. All right. Um, a witch does not have to be religious. Witches do not worship the devil. Um, they don't. We don't even believe in the devil. Um, witches believe in the power of nature and the cosmos, and the forces, the invisible forces working behind the scenes that we don't see. A lot of witches, not not every witch, but a lot of witches will use marijuana and psychoactive and hallucinogenic, psych psychedelic, trans-inducing substances in their work and their paths. Um, there's a lot of different paths out there in witchcraft. Um, a lot of different religions. Not all every witch is religious, so I'm a non-religious witch on the path of love and light. But there's a then they're continuously is adding on the things to witchcraft, ways to do it, paths, everything. Just recently, in the last couple of decades, did technological witchcraft be assembled? And what technological witchcraft is, is using the digital power, the singularity we already have in computers and all that, to cast spells and that's a whole deep topic for on itself now everyone in one way or another does witchcraft all right witchcraft is just the power to manipulate not manipulate but control your reality and just heal things, or people, or um, connect with, even connect with nature. Now, it, it, cooking can be witchcraft. And it's just, you know, the power to create what you want. As well as cast spells, and but the practicing witch, or term is a normal person, from the practicing witch, is they have a set spiritual path they're on. And not every witch is enlightened. Just because you're a witch, I've learned, does not mean you are enlightened. A lot of times, a witch will be oblivious to their own sovereignty of their soul. Right? And we'll be even contributing to the forces that are destroying this world. And just jumping on society bandwagons and thinking, yeah, the government, I love the government, it's for me, I'm gonna vote everything, yeah. Sadly, those are the type of witches that aren't really true witches. Because. A witch should be enlightened. A witch should know their shit about the government. A witch should not be ignorant of this. They should be open to all doors. And... There's lots of crystals you can use in witchcraft. I could probably go on for hours and hours about everything. There's a lot of history behind it, especially during World War II. Um, but when it was reinvented by the Wiccans, but I, I'm not really fond of the Wiccans. I'm not religious like they are. Um, it's just, like, imagine you got a symbol, right? And it taps into the sacred geometric properties of the universe and it just drives on metaphysical power now the power of the tree of life kobala plays a role in the universe and spell work and everything because everything is so dense in this physical world it isn't like harry potter where it could just appear 
things will take time to manifest in this dense 3D reality. Because everything is so dense here and it's hard to move things without actually pushing them. Well, that has been a Witchcraft 101 for today. This is Tetrianus out.